the summertime golfing adventure begins again as ABC Sports takes you across the continent and across the sea for the great championships of golf. To Scotland for the British Open, to Florida for the PGA, and this weekend to San Francisco for the U.S. Open. Francisco opened its golden gate to the most expert golfers in the game this week. They came from around the world to the city by the bay for their annual test of skill, determination, and nerves. They came to the Olympic Club, founded 127 years ago for the practice of gymnastics, scene of two previous U.S. Opens, each of which produced major upsets. But as yesterday's third round began, the game's big names were clustered at the top of the leaderboard. There was Tom Watson calmly signing an autograph. Jack Nicholas, king of the sport. Greg Norman, the British Open champ. Seve Ballesteros, the swashbuckling Spaniard. Tommy Nakajima, the best in Asia. And Longer, the German. But lightning strikes at Olympic. Ben Hogan was struck in 1955. He appeared to have won an unprecedented fifth US Open title until an unknown driving range pro named Jack Fleck birdied two of the last three holes to tie him after 72 holes. They went to a playoff, and Fleck, whose fame had been confined to Davenport, Iowa before that day, confounded every expert on the premises by defeating Hogan, the greatest golfer of his time. Hogan never won another major championship. Yes, lightning strikes at Olympic. In 1966, the bolt hit Arnold Palmer, like Hogan before him, he was the most famous golfer in the world at that time. And with only nine holes to play, he led by seven strokes. Not only was he headed for his second open title, but he looked like he would break Hogan's scoring record for the championship. He didn't play it safe, but went for the record, as Arnie always did. But the wheels came off. He lost the lead. And then again, like Hogan, he lost the playoff to Bill Casper the next day and never won another major championship. Yes, lightning strikes at Olympic, and it struck again yesterday. It struck in the person of Keith Clearwater, a 27-year-old first-year touring pro who shot 64 to tie the course record and today is paired with the leader. And lightning struck the big names yesterday. Jack Nicklaus just never could get it going. His putter, hot on Friday, turned cold yesterday, and he shot 76. Greg Norman fell to seven shots back. Tommy Nakajima led at one point, but lightning struck when his ball stayed up in a tree on the final hole. Only Tom Watson came out unscathed, taking the lead with this improbable putt on 18. He had been tied for the lead with young Mark Weeby when the day began, had fallen back, then pulled himself together, and was the Watson of old on the final hole. He's on familiar ground here, near his alma mater, Stanford University. Still, he hasn't won in almost three years. And as the final round begins, 19 other golfers are within four shots of it. Any of these names might win, or a name that doesn't appear as yet, because remember, we're at Olympic, where lightning strikes, and we wonder, whom will it strike today? Sports of the United States Golf Association invite you to the playing of the final round of the United States Open Golf Championship. Well, no, that is not the Golden Gate Bridge. That's the Bay Bridge, leading from downtown San Francisco to the city of Oakland, home of the A's, former home of the Raiders, long gone now to the glamour of Hollywood. It's an absolutely gorgeous summer day. Morning fog, a given on most days here, has burned off, leaving nothing but beauty as we pan across to the city, to the Bay, to the Golden Gate Bridge, moving out toward the Pacific Ocean, and now toward the Olympic Club, scene of the United States Open 1987. This club, as you see here, is about as close to downtown as any golf course you'll find. It's just about a 15-minute drive on most days. It takes a little longer when 25,000 people and more are coming to the Open Championship. There's Lake Merced, on which the golf course sits, and the course itself. There are actually two courses here, the Lake Course and the Ocean Course, and the Lake Course is the scene of the championship, as it was in 1955 and 1966. You want to see the Golden Gate Bridge? There it is poking its lovely head just after its 50th anniversary above the hills and the houses of San Francisco, one of the most beautiful, certainly, of all cities. And here, the golf course. As for the weather today, well, as I said, it's perfect. Look at this, 75 degrees, humidity 40%. Negligible wind, chance of rain only 10%, probably closer to zero. So it's going to be a wonderful afternoon. How do they stand, though? That's the question of the moment. 
and at this moment none of these leaders have yet teed off otherwise there would be a number a second number next to their name indicating how many holes they have played so it's watson by one over clearwater and simpson by two over clements by three over seve ballesteros and longer and ben crenshaw